Good morning, everyone here in person and from the live stream. Hopefully it works. Okay. Uh, my name is Eve Seiler, and I usually work in the research here. But I'm also a raw vegan. Since five years, I like to eat raw vegan food, and I like to create re recipes. So um, what I show today is just how I eat. And today we're going to make a sauce with coconut and a rice salad. Unfortunately, I didn't have white rice. I only have green rice today. <laughs> Um, yeah, but you see it's all whole foods. I only brought you whole foods and we're gonna create something special with it. I mean, the, the only important thing you have to do for yourself is buy a lot of food. I mean, go to the grocery stores, farmer's market, go to the produce section, not the cut up in packages and things. You don't need that. You just need whole foods. And then you just stock, stock up at home you always have food at home, and if you don't have time to prepare the food, you can just eat it as it is. You can just eat this as it is, and you'll feel, you'll realize it's really tasty. It's pretty good, you know? And for your body, it doesn't make any difference if you eat it one at a time, or you just mix it all together. And I keep it raw. I don't know if you want to steam something, but you can eat things raw. I mean, you don't really have to prepare or cook anything. And it's also good to have just one raw day, maybe, here and then, or, you know? The food is already perfect, so I, I think we don't have to cook. So I don't cook anymore. <laughs> well, okay, so let's start maybe with um, the salad base, maybe? So we get, get to, the, to the sauce part. And then, so I always like to eat lots of greens. I mean, this is the amount of greens I would eat by myself. Because it's like really little. If you would blend this all up, then it's just, just a tiny bit. If you would cook it, it'll be like, like this amount of food, really. So it has lots of water and uh, vibrancy, so you definitely can eat that much of greens by yourself. You eat that much per meal or per day? Uh, per day. Yeah, usually I don't, so how I eat in the morning, usually I just drink water first. Um, I don't really eat right away. Um, and then I eat a bowl of fruits, lots of fruits, because fruits have calories. Since I'm, I eat raw, I don't eat a lot of starchy foods. Um, so my calories need to come from somewhere, and calories are in, either in, um, in, simple carbohydrates like fruit sugar or in starches or in fat or protein. Fats, you don't want to be eating too much fat. It's like really heavy on the body, on the digestion. And then protein is not a good fuel source. It doesn't burn very, very clean. So protein, you do, you do need some protein, but not that much. So you don't want to eat that much protein so the body burns it. If you don't use the protein, then you're eating, the body will burn it as fuel, and that's just not really keep clean fuel. For me, the best fuel source is simple carbohydrates, so I eat a lot of fruits. That's where, where mostly my, um, my calories come from. So I eat about 1,000 calories of fruits per day, and then I'll have a, my second meal will be, I don't need to eat the fruits at one time, maybe just in that, um, eating window that I have. I keep it small, like six to eight hours per day. And then the second meal will always be like a salad with lots of greens and vegetables. And then a more um, high calorie dressing with nuts and seeds maybe, or with coconut or with avocado. And that's pretty much what I always eat. But I keep the fat pretty low. I don't know if our bowl is big enough, so I'll, I'll eat a lot of greens, so we can use a lot of greens, maybe not everything. It doesn't fit. And then you can do any kind of vegetable. So I was going to make rice with cauliflower, but I, we didn't have cauliflower today, so we only have broccoli. But you could also, it has the same texture that like cauliflower, so I'm still going to show you how I make um, really simple rice, either with cauliflower or with broccoli. And um, how I do it, I'll use a food processor, a food chopper. This is uh, 
called a food chopper. Um, it's similar to a food processor, really. So it just has the glass ball here and then the motor on top. And you just put your broccoli in here or cauliflower. And the chopper or food processor is a good way to get raw vegetables, large amounts of raw vegetables in. You know, it's like pre chewed, and then you can eat it a little bit faster. And you don't want to spend two hours eating your bowl. <laughs> I like spending two hours eating your bowl. can eat easily, but you can also try it. If you're confused about these ends, just take a piece off and try it and see is it chewy or not. But I think I need to cut this off, Lexi. Like, mm -hmm. These were not cut off. Usually the kitchen does that for me, but not this time. Well, well, here it's cut off, actually. So I'm just going to check this. But it's not that big of a deal. You just grab these uh, together in the same direction. I think there are only a few that are not cut. Yeah, these are really healthy. The broccoli already is really healthy. It has lots of vitamin K, iron, vitamin C, folate, lots of folate. I checked my folate one day and it was, I think normal, normal value is above three. So it should be above three, the folate. Mine was above 20 just from eating food. I don't eat any uh, fortified foods or anything. Do you take any supplements like B12? No. Um, I check my B12 sometimes, but I mean, it's up to you. You can just check it, especially the um, homocysteine and, or there's another one, methyl malonic acid. They can just, um, Indirectly, also see if uh, you have a problem with 
B12 utilization. But lemon juice. Does it take away the smell only, or does it take away the taste? Yeah. The taste also, the smell and taste. So yeah, if you have these ants here, you just put them together and then with one cut, get them all off. It's not that much of work, but now I'll kind of check them all because Yeah, and those peas are, have good protein. You know, you want the high quality protein, the unaltered natural um, protein, you know, right? I mean, the amino acids, you need amino acids. And everything has all essential amino acids. I mean, this, uh, this myth of complete protein and that plants don't have all the essential amino acids. Only plants make essential amino acids, so how can plants not have all the essential amino acids, if only plants are able to make essential amino acids. And all animals eat plants to have essential amino acids. So, but of course we can eat animals to eat their muscle flesh, which has all the essential amino acids, but why would you do that? Right? I mean. <laughs> only if we want to become toxic from all the chemicals that are in their uh, hormones. Yeah, all the hormones. I mean, people are concerned about tofu, hormones in tofu, like plant uh, estrogen or something. But they're eating a hamburger, which comes from a pregnant cow. All these hamburgers, the ground beef especially, they use the, the dairy cows. They get slaughtered and because that meat is not that good, so they just grind it up. And this comes from a cow that is constantly pregnant. So what is, I mean, a pregnant animal has lots of pregnancy hormones. So lots of estrogen, and it's much more similar to our estrogen uh, than the plant estrogen, you know, apparently. It's not really estrogen from plants, it just has similar effects maybe on, on the females. Yeah, and then dairy has, of course, dairy is from a pregnant cow constantly because they're always, always pregnant, you know. They, they don't give milk if they're not pregnant, if they, they didn't give birth. They're like mammals, like our, uh, like us. We don't give milk if we are, didn't give a baby. I mean, <laughs> we're not milk machines. They're not either. So to, this is all green now. I was planning to have cauliflower, but this is all green now, so maybe we'll add some color. <laughs> we can add a add a red and uh, a yellow bell pepper. Yeah, and then um, usually vegans don't have that much problems with hormones. males too, they get older, you know. I mean, if you have clogged arteries, then, um, and vegans don't, I mean, they usually have, I mean, of course, I mean, we can't change the past, maybe we did some damage, you know, but it's definitely worth to at least get better, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to chew my food and try the whole foods first before I blend it all and grind it up and then make it edible. It's like, I think, I believe that everything is like meant to be eaten like it is, like it was grown. So I like to eat the things whole first. And if I eat the seeds, they're like really chewy. I can't even chew them. And then they taste kind of a little bit bitter. Sometimes I would eat them from the chili because they're really spicy. They kind of give a nice um, spice to it. But these, I just don't like them. <laughs> you think those are healthy? I don't know if they're healthy. I don't, I don't well, know. They have a bitter taste. You like the bitter taste? Well, the taste is unique in our body. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 
sometimes bitter is pretty good, especially with herbs. I like dandelion. Yeah, and I hear so many um, nice stories here about people doing this diet here and then they don't didn't need their thyroid hormones anymore. The thyroid was functioning again. I mean, if you eat animal products with all these foreign hormones, then of course it'll mess up your own hormones, hormonal balance. And then the fat, the animal fat, clogs your arteries. So it's not helpful. Maybe my bowl is always too small. But at least we have some color in here. Would have been um, nicer to use cauliflower and have a, like a ricey. A nice look. Next time. At least um, broccoli is really, really healthy. So I don't taste good. That's the thing. If you keep it simple and you have high quality ingredients, then it'll always taste good. Hopefully today too, but. <laughs> Have you ever tried chopping those peppers in the food processor? Yeah. Does it work? Mm-hmm. Actually, yes, yeah. And it makes like a nice uh, sauce, too. Yeah, you could do that, too. You you save some chewing time, too. You can even chop the, the salad, even. I don't like to eat a lot of, um, or make a lot of smoothies. Like, usually men like to, because they don't like to eat that much food, for hours, so they just put it all in, make a smoothie, with spinach. I don't really like that, but if I want to eat a little bit faster, then I use the food chopper, so I, at least I still have a meal and not a drink. I'm not really a person who likes smoothies. I think it's too easy with smoothies to not chew it. That's the mistake mm -hmm. a lot of people make, and they drink a smoothie like a juice or a water, and yeah. you can chew it to make it exactly. digest properly. Yeah, exactly. The, the digestion starts in the mouth. Mm -hmm. You could add some cherry tomatoes, too. I forgot. I have these here. Just cut them up a little bit. Cherry tomatoes are great. If you have a sharp knife to cut your cherry tomatoes, I had a sharp knife at home. I was planning to bring it, and but I already cut myself on the sharp knife, so <laughs> I didn't even use it much. I said, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't bring it." <laughs> yeah, cutting the cherry tomato also brings a little bit more flavor. So you're not worried about bad shape stuff? Oh, no. Not really, no. Okay. I mean, I like, I don't have any problems with it. Of course, if you have problems, then maybe you want to eat something else uh, first. I think the problem will probably will go away. I don't think they're bad. I mean, of course, the, the greens of that plant, everything that's green on that plant, that's toxic. There's the toxin, but in the fruit itself, there's really not much um, There's not really uh, toxins in there. So, But some people are really, really sensitive, maybe. Um, yeah, but not me. But you you're gonna find this out for yourself. If you also if you don't like a specific food, then you don't have to eat it. There's so much variety in plant foods. There's so much. You don't have to eat everything. And I think your taste buds will also change over over a while. After a while, 
and then you, yeah, you might didn't like it now, but you ate other plant foods, and then after a few weeks you like it now. You know, just try it again. Would you tell us a little bit about your transition to raw food? Like how um, long it kind of took you to make that transition? Yeah, it didn't take long for me because I always ate lots of raw food. So even when I was a child, we ate a lot of junk food too. But we always had a salad, really something fresh. I always, every day I ate something fresh at least. So and then I increased it quite a bit. And then shortly before I was completely raw, I had, I'm, I had mostly raw. Then maybe I ate some potatoes with it, and uh, once in a while I would also eat meat. I was not completely vegan, but then I started do, doing the water fasts um, by myself for a few, for just a few days, or the maximum three days, um, or a regular one day. And then after that, I just felt like eating more raw foods and lighter foods, and then I just kept going with the lighter foods and. Then tried the cooked food again, and it was too heavy feeling. So now I just leave the cooked food uh, for good. You know, I don't eat cooked food anymore. The only thing is, what I do sometimes is a tea, which doesn't um, have a lot of uh, altered chemistry. So if you cook food, then you alter the chemistry. But if you just cook uh, tea then it doesn't have so much chemistry in that that could be altered. So the molecules, the, the extracts, they don't really alter their... They, they don't get very altered through heat, but if you have something with high protein, high starches, their chemistry will really completely change. So this affects some of my body. So I don't really like that. But it's up to you. You don't have to be 100% raw, but I think it will be beneficial for you if you eat some raw foods. Um, if you increase your raw intake, definitely. I think we all agree on that, I guess. But you don't have to be. Because it's, for some people, it's really, really hard. Some people also don't like to eat so much fruits. Maybe they're afraid of it, or they don't feel good with it. I don't really know. Because um, and then you, you have to eat some starches. You have to eat some sweet potatoes, because there is the calories if you don't want to eat that much fat and nuts and seeds. Otherwise, you don't get enough calories, and you wanna, you need enough calories. You could also track your. Um, I like this app here, the Chronometer.com. Chronometer is an R. Um, I like that to track your your nutrition and calories, especially. Just for a while, you can just track whatever you eat, put it in, and then you see your micronutrients, macronutrients. You put in your weight, and then they tell you how much calories do you need per day. And I did that, and I'm, I eat enough food. Sometimes I overeat, sometimes I don't eat enough. But every time I didn't, I under ate a little bit, I felt hungry at night, and you don't want to feel hungry at night. So at night, you should be satisfied and, and fine, you know? Um, do you eat? Meals a day? Usually, yeah. Yeah, it will be a fruit meal, and then a salad, and then maybe some fruit in between or uh, fruits after again. So, it's just, but I'll I like to keep it in a small window, like six to eight hours, because um, you want to give your body also rest. So it's like the intermittent fasting. So it's like fasting pretty much every day. You could do that, and it's safe. It's safe for everyone. Like if you fast for a couple of days, it can be really unsafe for each individual. It's, um, so you don't want to really do it by yourself. But you could do it every day. Um, OK, so we have our salad base, um, rice salad that's pretty much just green. It looks like a salad today. Well, but it doesn't matter. I mean, if you get something that you didn't really expect to get, it will be so good, you know, you just have something <laughs> different. <laughs> is that the size of your... your yeah, I could eat the whole thing, yeah. Okay. I think so. I mean, I'll be really, really full after that. Okay. And it will take me a while. Uh, yeah, I probably will overeat it. Well, no, that's fine, actually. Well, it's because, nah, I think maybe um, three-quarter of it because I chopped the broccoli really fine, so it's actually more volume, really. I just packed it a little, it's more packed. 
but maybe I'll, I'll definitely do this year and then maybe half of it of that year. Definitely. Or as much as you like, really. It also depends how much sauce you put in, because the sauce will have more vegetables and more calories. But you eat until you're full, really. Did someone else have a question? I was wondering if you feed a family with this. Hmm? I have three teenage boys. I just wondered how much they I can just imagine the bowl I would have to fix. Oh, yeah, you gotta have a trough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you do it buffet style, you know, let them build their salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you gotta have big bowls, I mean. Yes, you do. Yeah, you gotta have big okay. bowls. These These stainless steel, maybe, steel that you can lettuce. stack together. A whole shopping cart of yeah. lettuce. I mean, it's kind of awkward, yeah, it is awkward, and people would judge you and tell you you're crazy or you're weird, but at least you're going to be really healthy, you're not going to take medication, you, you can move yourself like you were in your 20s again with uh, 70, you know, you can do anything you want, and that's what we want all in, when we go older, we don't want to just be, uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't, we don't want to wait in, in our room till someone visits us. We want to do stuff, right? So at least you're, you can do that. So, okay, that's the price you pay. You're going to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> do you do food prep every day? No, or I don't. Or really. you just do it per meal? Because it's so quick. You know, I take really a lot of time here, and I, I don't really rush too much. Um, it's so quick. I mean, I, and I, if I don't have time, I just eat it as it is. I like fresh foods. Sometimes I would, yeah, sometimes I would eat the food from yesterday, the dressing maybe that I made. But I like it fresh, and it's, it's really easy. For ex Well, if I have a coconut like this, I'm not going to eat the whole coconut at once. So I'll definitely eat this maybe for three days, the dressing, and then I'll make the salad fresh, any kinds of greens, really. And it's pretty quick. So. Since we are finished with that, we can go over our dressing, and I have two coconuts here. Um, we're gonna open them. It's also like whole foods, as whole as we can get. I don't use any cans, apparently, because it's not raw and whole. Um, and then you can get these kind of coconuts. They are. I think they're kind of in between a young and a mature, because then there's the brown coconuts. They're like really brown. They're, those are the mature ones. They have really hard and fibrous flesh inside. And then there's the young coconuts. They have the hole, and they're, they're sh sometimes in the store shaped like a, a cone. And then you can cut off the cone and get the flesh out. Um, but this is kind of in between. So the mature and the coconut that's in between those the mature and young, I'll open in the way that I just show you right now. So you see the, the coconut face here, the two eyes here, and the mouth. And you can poke the mouth, because the mouth is really soft, the eyes are really hard. So those, I think those are the eyes. This is really hard, this is really hard, you can't really poke it. But then uh, the mouth, You can poke it, and then you're already reaching the flesh. And that's a really great way. You just want to make sure that it's a good coconut. I have two coconuts just in case. Sometimes you buy a coconut and it's, it's spoiled inside. So that always can happen. But just bring it back and say it's spoiled on another one, because they're expensive. And then I just use a chop ch uh, chopstick. I was confused, chapstick and chopstick. <laughs> <laughs> and just make the hole a little bit um, bigger. And I have another hole. And it's a good way too to get, um, to bring this while you travel in, on the airport, in your um, luggage and your hand baggage. Because you can drink it, you can put a straw in it and then drink it. So you have your own water. I'll just pour the water out. You can make another hole in it. Um, 
but you need a hammer and something hard to make another hole to just let it pour out easier, but I just pour it out like that. Just want to make sure that the coconut is good and not spoiled, so I'm going to just try it. Before I do all the work. Yeah, you smell it already if it's spoiled, and then if you would taste the water, if it's not good, it will taste really weird and soapy, really. But if it's good, then it should taste sweet and be fresh. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste spoiled. I would have to spit it out of <laughs> But you also see it, if it, the water is clear, then it's usually good. If it's like cloudy, you already know oh, something is wrong. actually scratch it with your okay. finger and then yeah I think this is a lot right that's really cool yeah and then you put a straw in there so it's my understanding if you're an athlete that coconut water is um, the best electrolyte mm -hmm. It is pretty good, actually, yeah. But it has, it's really safe, you know, mm -hmm. instead of the Gatorade that's so Oh, good. yeah, that's horrible, Gatorade. Yeah. Also, if you want to do um, a Gatorade kind of drink, too, if you don't have coconut water, you can um, blend a uh, date, medjool date, with water, and then, then you can call it Datorade. <laughs> I never do that really. I like to drink water, honestly. I mean, coconut water is great if I have it, but honestly, I wouldn't only eat coconut water. I think I, I feel like I want to drink water once in a while. So now, so you have the face here, and then you imagine a line going through here um, in the middle. Then if you hit this line, a couple of times, then it will crack open by itself. Usually, if you have like a heavy machete, you don't even need the sharp, uh, the sharp side. You can just use the dull side and then just do a hit here like this. But this knife is not heavy enough and not strong enough. So what I do is I just find a stone outside, you know, that has a sharp edge, like this. It's not like perfectly sharp, but it'll do the trick actually. So I'll just hit the coconut on the, it makes a little bit of a mess here. It's already cracking, hear it. Yeah, so, that was really easy. Last time it was not that easy. And you have your coconut. It's a little bit pink coconut. Sometimes the coconut is pink. <laughs> yeah, those are my kitchen tools too, and they're free. You can just find, find it outside. And then now this is the the hardest part actually, an opening. Um, kind of, it's really mature coconut. Usually, sometimes they're a little bit smaller. And don't use a sharp knife to do that. It's a little bit uh, dangerous. I just use a butter knife. Then I go in between the shell and the flesh, and then just get. It off like this. This can be really hard sometimes, especially with a mature coconut. And I also will taste test the flesh here. That's good. Yeah, it tastes really 
good. Doesn't it get less sweet the more mature it is? Mm-hmm. I think so. I use a, I you always use like really simple tools. I'm not that fancy at home, but you can actually buy a, a coconut knife that's that's uh, round. I never use that really, but it might be e much easier to get the flesh out. It's a lot of flesh though. Yeah. Then just be careful that you don't have any hard bits from the shell here. Like this kind of is maybe too hard. I mean the brown the brown skin here, that's soft. I mean you can use it. If it's bothering you and you want it like super white, but that's not even a white coconut, it's like a pink coconut. Then of course you can peel it off, but I don't do that. This this uh, brown skin is really soft, so it's edible. I just make sure that I don't have the like hard shells on it. It's really good. Uh, I don't think I used the whole of it, uh, the whole coconut. I'm just clean it up here. Why not? Sorry. You can also eat the coconut as it is, you know? don't have to use the blender or anything. I mean, you don't even have to chop up your veg vegetables. Just open your coconut, eat a little bit of it, and then eat your greens. That's how I eat when I'm on a road trip. I did all this on a road trip. I bought a coconut, and then I opened it at the beach, drank the water, <laughs> and um, how did I drink the water? Did I have a straw, or just drank it all like this? I don't remember. I think I just drank it out like that, really. And then I opened it with a stone, and the, it was really mature coconut, so it was hard to get the flesh out, but I was scraping it with, with a spoon, scrape it out. And then I would have my whole vegetables and eat the whole vegetables. I don't, if I go on a road trip, I don't use a bowl. I, I have some knives, yeah, with me, but I don't have a cutting board or anything. I just. I just live my life and eat <laughs> simple foods. It's really enjoyable. And every time I eat like that, I, I wonder, why do I prepare my food at all? It's so much tastier. <laughs> you don't prepare it. I got the, um, I don't have coconuts right now in my eating bowl. Uh, oh. So, so would it be considered, That's a good question. I don't really know. I mean, some people say is it it's fruit. That it, when you say you want to limit the fats. Yeah, it is high fat. So I forgot to say that it's 50% fat. I don't know about this here. That kind of looks suspicious to me. But I know it's suspicious to me. I'm just going to cut it off. Or maybe. That's probably because it's kind of ripening. If you have like a ripe coconut, you get much darker skin here too. It's still edible, but I'm just gonna put it away. Yeah, if you don't, uh, and you're on like no fat at all, no avocados. Avocado is definitely a fruit, it has high fat, but this, I mean, a coconut really sprouts really weird. This is already the seed, part of the seed. Right? If a coconut sprouts, this becomes, it will grow out of this somehow. I mean, there's not really another seed than this, so it's kind of like a nut. It definitely has as much fat as a nut, but I think it's, it's better digestible. Yeah. It's not, it's not like a nut, really. Um, it has a lot of fiber, it's like nuts. They don't really have, they have more protein. This has fiber, protein, and fat. 
So I feel like this is more digestible, better. And it has water in the, the seeds. It, oh yeah, it is also mm -hmm. hydrating. It's already it has the I water. Have that word that I was just curious about. No, but if you want to still be on low fat, that's what I felt too when I was going off the fast. I, I just didn't feel like eating so much fat. You know? But you know what? We could also do the, can, um, start the sauce and make it more lighter too without the coconut. Because everything else, I didn't use any other seeds and nuts today. So everything else is pretty light. And the coconut really is just for calories. And um, I mean, I'm not really used to eating that much fat. In, um, like now I fasted, when was it, two weeks ago? So gaining my weight back. So I'm just cutting out um, off your um, red bell pepper for the sauce. We're going to make the, the sauce now. If you don't want to use coconut, I would recommend using mango, maybe, in your sauce. Like blend vegetables like red bell peppers, tomatoes. Oh, the coconut looks like grand. Hmm? I think it looks grand. It looks what? Wonderful. Wonderful, yeah. I just don't know. What day of eating is it? No, no, no. Fasting. Oh, you're fasting? What? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Oh, you're fasting? You're fasting right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So then you can't eat it at all? <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I meant I can't. Uh, uh, going for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 sure. No, no if I you didn't mean, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no if you want to use um, no I, fat at all. No, I'm not fat. No. No, I mean in the future. Yeah. So you don't have to necessarily um, use some creaminess in your sauce. You can just, um, but to increase your calories, I would recommend putting a mango, something sweet in it, like in your sauce. Blend some red bell peppers with a mango. It has nice calories and it's low fat. Mangoes have uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Do you know that? <laughs> omega-3 fatty acids. Mangoes have a lot. Lots of fruits have uh, omega-3. Tropical fruits especially. Jackfruit, cherimoya. They have, um, even bananas really have omega-3s, but not that much. If you eat like four mangoes, you can cover your omega-3s just from the mangoes per day. Three or four mangoes maybe. So I'm just chopping them a little bit, so we're gonna use the blender then. We looked it up, coconut's a fruit. Yeah. Oh, they say it's a fruit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people say it's a fruit, but it's a weird fruit, right? I mean, it's still weird. They actually call it a droop. A droop fruit? Yeah. Droop fruit. Or star fruit. But yeah, it does digest more like a fruit, like a fatty fruit, like an avocado too. So it's not really, I would also not really consider it a nut. Definitely not a nut. Soy. Hmm? Soy. Soy. Yeah. Soy. 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 Then I use celery. So for my sauces, I just chop any kind of vegetables really. I love um, red bell pepper for sauces, makes it nice and red. Um, then I like, if you want to have more liquid, you can use more tomato. Celery is also really good. It gives some more fiber, like uh, thickness, and um, it's a lot of celery, but, and some flavor too. If you don't use any salt, then you want to use celery. And um, what else could you use? Um, tomato, maybe, but we also have the coconut water. I mean, the coconut water you can also use for your dressing. And then any kind of herbs. If you want to make it more like a curry, you can use um, turmeric. I have a little bit of turmeric here. Why not? Putting a little bit of turmeric. I don't usually measure, but maybe that was like a teaspoon. Then you can use coriander seeds.
maybe any kind of spices and herbs you want. Maybe a little bit of cumin, but I'm really careful with cumin, it's like really strong. So a little bit maybe. And then I also like chili. I do like chili. I don't like a lot of onions. Sometimes I use green onions. Uh, not really onions or garlic, generally. And I, I take the seeds out of this because <laughs> it's really, really spicy. So just not half of, I think it's a cayenne pepper, dry one. It will be spicy. And um, yeah, if the, in case the coconut was a bad one and you don't want to go to the store again and replace it, but do it later. Then I also have these hemp seeds, which are really great too. Hemp seeds, and you don't have to soak them in water or anything. They hold um, hemp seeds raw and shelled. They also called hemp hearts sometimes. They like um, they like whitish. They don't have that uh, black hole, uh, so you want these. And then you can just pour them in your blender and blend it in if you want to have something creamy. But uh, the coconut was great, so we used the coconut today. And then also you can use avocado, maybe in half of an avocado to make your sauces creamy. I did that la last week. It was kind of pretty good. And um, then I have some fresh herbs. I like fresh herbs. I was going to use cilantro in here, but it didn't have cilantro. But you could use cilantro um, or parsley. Using, what are you using? This is thyme. It's just thyme. Thyme is really good. It's um, antiviral, antibacterial. It's great if you're, if you're sick or something. You have a cold or a cough. It's really great. And also, I mean, it doesn't hurt to use it before you get sick. And I always, I always use a lot of herbs. People say it's too strong, but I don't think it's too strong. Either. Basil, you could put basil in here. Fresh herbs are really great always. But, I mean, I'm flexible if I only have time. And, yeah, I just use time then. <laughs> or parsley. Could I use parsley maybe too? I'm a little bit late right now. I still have time now. And then you just, um, pull the leaves off here. Whatever is soft and goes off that goes in there. It's fine. Okay, maybe that's enough. And then I'll put that water maybe. At least a little bit. Let's just blend this a little bit. And then see what happens. I didn't put the coconut in yet. Um I could put maybe tomato in here too, but I mean, you could, but you can just try it like that. smaller half in here actually because it's um it's a lot really you can also just use a quarter of it you can oh. freeze the other parts and then use it later in your bl blending you know if you want to have it like really low fat 
should I put half of it or I don't really know. Maybe just why not? Just don't eat that much. <laughs> but definitely I wouldn't put all of it in. That's too much. And then the other rest you can also use as a dessert. You can blend it with the rest of the coconut water, put chia in or anything else, you know, you can you can chop it also finely for your salad. You don't have to blend the coconut. You can also just chop it like this and put it in your salad. It's really great. And you saw how easy it is to open a coconut bowl. It's not that hard. You don't need like violin tools or anything, just the stone and the chapstick. Just make sure that you know where the eyes are in the mouth. And you, if you forgot, then you just poke everything until you find the <laughs> soft spot. <laughs> yeah, really, it's, it's really simple. And that's. I mean, that's why this food is made for us, because it's simple for us to eat, you know? A, a, a pig is not simple for us to eat, or a cow. It's not really simple, so try to eat a whole cow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to blend this here. sauce without coconut, just the vegetables, this is uh, the water if you want to try it, the 
sauce with coconut and then our salad. And I'm gonna, ooh, I can't try it for you. Well, actually I can, well, I use this here. I always need to try it before you try it, you know? And all, all for all the fasting people, need to try my food. <laughs> Next week, I'm almost there. Oh, really? It's 40 days already? Uh, Friday. Friday is my 40th day. Oh, wow. I, oh had, my I had my first dream uh, that I, it's from a person who writes my dreams down. I usually very good a dreamer. This morning, early, I had this dream that I had made this huge salad. Ooh. Beautiful, all colors. And I sat down here in the dining room, and I was, everybody was looking at me with surprise. And I had my coffee because I was getting ready to take the first bite. And my dream went, stop, you haven't done the juicing, the juice part. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I must be getting close. <laughs> That's so great. That's really funny. So OK, I have here the, the sauce without any coconut. It tastes already really good, really uh, flavorful with all the spices that I put in. Like the cumin, I can I only put a little bit of cumin, cumin, but I already can taste it a lot. And the chili. Yeah, and then the creaminess of the coconut. I think that's really great. Maybe I put a little bit too much time in it. It's really tiny, a little bit. But maybe that's, maybe that's all. But it will be healthy. So anyone wants to try it? Or smell it or see it? I want to try it. In a water fasting? Well, I have to eat it for you then. I'd like to smell it. You want to smell it? You can also smell it. Well, thanks. Anyway, for a This line that, okay, so the circumference is halfway up from where you see those little holes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you would poke it here and you would chop it here. Get the water on. Yeah. And then have it like this in your hand. Yeah. And then chop it like this. Like chop it like this. Yeah. And have it like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you have it like that and then you chop it here. So this is, if you think of the eyes as the poles, you'd be chopping the equator. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Wow. Wow. I have never seen, I mean, we, we must always get um, very mature old coconuts because they're always very dark brown. Yeah. Those two would open exactly like those two. Yeah. The same way. Um, but it's, it might be harder to get the flesh out, and I think they're not quite right, like yeah. mature ones. And it's interesting because I've stayed away from buying a coconut because I didn't know what the heck I would do with it. Yeah. And so that's really, that's really cool to know about the eyes. Yeah. And then you can um, chop them like that. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, that's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. You're wonderful. How do you like the cake? It was a lot. You like it a lot? A little bit, though. A lot of time, maybe. Can you put it in three bell peppers? Can you put it in three bell peppers? Two red. I think it was two red or two. Three. Yeah. three. But it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's fine. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can change it up definitely. I do that too sometimes. How much? More than I can expect. Just a tiny bit. It was so strong already. A quarter teaspoon. Not much. But it's already, I feel the flavor really strong already. I like the coconut. A little bit yeah, this has more calories, it's more filling. <laughs> this is lighter. But if you put a mango in this, it will be tasty too. And more filling too. For years, well, for years I've wanted to 
You can eat for three days, maybe. I, I really appreciate it. She was asking if you freeze them. She's asking if you freeze them. Do you ever freeze your dressing? No, I don't like frozen vegetables. Sometimes I do frozen bananas, ice cream. Yeah. But even that, I don't really like too much frozen. So I'm talking about like for, for keeping, right? So if you make a, a certain quantity ahead of time that you freeze it and then use it when you're in a hurry. No, I don't do that. Okay. I like to eat fresh things. And if you freeze something, it's kind of similar like cooking to me. I, I found myself in, I was, uh, and it doesn't matter what I was doing, but two meals a day were uh, perfect. You're putting up with it because it's a lot of food. You know, just, no. and I just, I don't, I don't um, and also some, you know, that to be with, that you become more sensitive to, uh, I don't think about how much of that when I'm eating vegetables, but that you still have to listen more to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't care about weight or anything. But the more fat I the eat, the insides of you. It's like it doesn't feel good, you know. It's slower digestion. But the coconut, the coconut, I'm pretty fine usually. But, but I, nuts and seeds not so much. I did not. They digest a little bit. I've had classes like this before. I'm here for you. It was really a lot of fun to watch. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So much people eating here. Yeah. The coconut opening technique works the price of Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's really simple. Yeah, it was nice. And then also you can eat it like this in your salad like that. The thing that you use to press your lemon, do you know the name of it? The thing you use for pressing your lemon. Oh, Marisa took it away. I think they just call it a lemon press or lemon yeah, press. citrus yeah. juicer. Citrus juicer, yeah. Okay. The yeah. lovely part is it keeps the seeds from going in. I like that yeah. part. Yeah. But you also like to use the spoon, and that works very effectively, at least on limes. On limes, yeah, they don't have yeah. a seed. But yeah, they. Um, I never met it. Both of those would keep my heart from love. I've never seen those lemon presses. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, they're pretty easy to find. Yeah. You still use the old fashioned plastic, you know, where you kind of squish it around and it goes into a little container and then you pour it off. Oh, those are good. They're wonderful fish, but I have yeah, this is the one that has more spices in it. No, both have the same spices, just this has the coconut. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
But I was in Wisconsin before my car accident, and I had this beautiful wooden bowl. And every day uh, for work, I had my everything there, and then I put my sauce on the side, mm. and then I would, you know. And I would still have to work through my lunch hour because it was a health food store and I'd be the only one there. Um, and people would say, oh, did they make that in the cafe? Because we had a little cafe thing. And I said, no, I got this from home. <laughs> because I, you know, make these beautiful salads. Do you have the mic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm late today. They're coming Thank for you, so you right much, now. Steve. They're coming for you right now. What, really? Bye from your live stream.